Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards.com and you've joined my craft until the cows come home. Oh, welcome. We are going to have some fun tonight. I know everybody is ready for some fun. Let me get logged on so I can see comments as people are jumping on. Give me one moment. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. It was beautiful here today. 70 something degrees. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Hello, everybody that's jumped on. Welcome, 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 welcome. So, let me show you my shirt before I forget because I thought it was so fitting with everything that's going on. It says, I'm not anti social. I'm socially selective and I've selected to avoid you. <laughs> How perfect is that? <laughs> We got to giggle, right? There's too much negativity, too much going on out there. We're all taking it serious, but we need to giggle every once in a while. Hi, everybody that's jumped on. If you see the red box that says live in the top left-hand corner, you are watching me live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel free to discuss away down there. Spread the move. Everyone is home, quarantined. They need to come have some fun with us. Go right now. Spread the moves. Tell your friends. Jump over here. We're going to play for about 30 minutes. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I want to make sure everyone understands before we get started. Stamping Up is open for business. My online store is open for business. Okay. Uh, Stampin' Up has made special arrangements. They have two shifts working. So that they've been able to socially distance the people within the building and in shipping. So it may take just a few more days than normal to get your order. But they are open for business. And so am I. I'm a working girl. I'm here working. So, and I can't wait to show you the card I make tonight. We are in the home stretch with celebration today. Hopefully you saw my post where you can now select some of your uh, items. If you have a $50 free item to select or a $100 free item to select, they put out new items that actually came out of our uh, annual catalog that are free. If your order is 50, you can pick one of those 50 uh, dollar items. Or if your order is 100, you can pick one of those free items with $100. So those are free, free, free items with a $50 or $100 order. So remember, I've preached it, and I know you guys are blue in the face, but think $50 increments when you place your orders. Don't miss out on something that's absolutely free. Okay, last but not least, let me say this. If you're going to spend $100, just join my team. It's the best time ever. My team has grown. I'm so excited. We're a strong team of 17 now. The herd is 17 strong. I love it. Just a whole bunch of heifers hanging out. So if you join my team, you get to uh, participate in all our team activities. Um, you get to be on the uh, Facebook team page that I have. So yeah, lots of benefits to being on the team. I would love to have you as a team member. All right. You're going to get to pick $125 worth of products and you're only going to pay $99, all right? It's going to ship to you for free. And in addition to that, you're going to get a trimmer and a 6x6 uh, six six designer series card pack absolutely free in your starter kit. And super bonus, you get to pick another stamp set of your choice. Yeah, any stamp set that you want out of the annual or the mini catalog. Can't be a hostess set. Can't be a celebration set, but other than that, so you can pick a $45 stamp set for free. All right. So I make sure I tell everyone when they join, you did save the most expensive set. You picked that as your free one, right? Don't put that in your starter kit. No, we want to pick less expensive there. Use the biggest, most expensive one for our free item. So hello, everybody that's jumped on. So I'm going to flip you down. I want to show you real quickly the little trimmer that you get for free and the paper pack and then I'm going to talk to you about some in colors and then we're going to get going I hope you're ready oh before I forget Tim's doing okay um obviously we're not going anywhere yeah no doctor's appointments not taking any chances with any of that 
uh, and the doctors agree with that. So we're hanging in there, all right? And I know you guys are too. So hang on, I'm gonna flip you down and around. I'm probably gonna have to get you zoomed in and all this good stuff. I just did the video for my team a while ago. So, well, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad at all. Kind of bright. A lot of brightness going on. Here's the adorable trimmer, perfect for cutting. It's a guillotine trimmer for cutting those small layers or photos. Super sharp though, all right? That's going to come to you for free. Can't buy it. Can only get it for free right now if you join the herd. Remember, there's no obligation. If you join, just take the deal and walk away from there. You just become my customer again. It's all good. I love you all just the same. Here's the designer series paper pack that you get. Look at all that gorgeous paper. You're going to get that package for free, too. And I got some of my herd members on here. They can tell you it's all good. Now, let's talk about the 2018 2020 in colors. This would be them Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover, Grapefruit Grove, Lovely Lipstick, and Pineapple Punch. These will be going away. All right. You know, every year we get a set in and one set goes. We always have two sets, so they overlap a year. But if these are the colors that speak near and dear to your heart, now is the perfect time to stock up. Next month we will get a list of what is retiring. Don't wait until then because once they say retiring, bam, stuff is gone. It's like the panic hits, sets in. So remember there are ribbon, paper, markers, and embellishments. And I will have a full post uh, on Facebook tomorrow that's got a link back. They'll take you to all of them. But hey, if you want to stock up on these items, do it now when you can earn those free celebration items. Am I right? Yes. So, wanted to bring that to your attention. All right. Last but not least, the Cow Whispers Creative and Sharing Corral has gone live. And I know a lot of you guys have joined. And I want the rest of you guys to join. I want you to join and to show all of your beautiful, beautiful creations. And I will tell you right now, I have a competition. Well, not a, a contest, a drawing. I don't know what you want to call it. But if you show a spring creation and you put the hashtag spring into 2020 on there, I'm going to draw a random winner. And this, no one even knows what the stamp set is. This is the stamp set. The So Sentimental stamp set. One person who puts a picture there, it'll be a random draw, is going to win the stamp set. So, yeah, I'll jump over there. It's the Cow Whisperers Creative and Sharing Corral. I got to get this down a little. This is just a little too bright. We're going to tone it down so you guys can see how beautiful this card truly is. That's good, right? Let's see if we can't zoom in a little. I won't be able to see what I'm doing. All right, now let's go back, see if we can get it. I've got my, ooh, that made a difference. Isn't that weird? Yeah, the color intensity maybe needs to come down just a smidge. Then let's go on our brightness. That's petal pink, and that is such a hard color to capture the true color. But you guys get the gist. I want you to see how beautiful it is. All right, we're going to go with that. Hello, everybody This jumped on. Okay, how adorable is this card? My little butterfly to hold the flap down. Collect beautiful moments. And then you just tuck it. You tuck it. That's all you do. And I am using the beautiful moments stamp set. Some awful pretty sentiments in there, and I love the different. We're going to change it up tonight. 
we're going to use the little kiddos here, two little girls. And where this one, I use Collect Beautiful Moments. I selected the thinking of you for tonight. So if you guys are ready, we're going to get going. Are you wondering where this gorgeous paper came from, this designer series paper? That is the... Parisian Blossoms Specialty Designer Series paper. So what that means is there's foil. Anytime you see specialty, that means there's something extra going on. All right. So yes, this paper is unbelievable. I love it, love it, and love it some more. So how's about we get going? I will tell you that I have changed the colors up a little bit. I'm going to use the same Designer Series paper. So the base is five and a half by four and a quarter. This is pool party. Alrighty. I know. I love it. I love it. Out by the sea. So this is pool party. This one's petal pink, which they both coordinate with the designer series paper. All right. So five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I've got a four and a quarter. No, I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White. That's the back. So five and a quarter by four. And it just fits, slides right into a regular envelope. All righty. Now I will tell you that I cut a piece of thick Whisper White with my stitch nested labels. And I cut a piece of the petal pink. I have all the links up in the top in the description of this video. You can click right on. It'll take you right to my store to purchase, all right? So the second from the largest stitch nested label is the big one. And the third is the small one. In case you're taking notes and you want to recreate it. All right, so that's our stitch nested labels. So right off... Why don't we, because I'm feeling mighty brave, we're going to try and go ahead and let's just do our sentiment and get that done. And we just want it smack dab in the middle of that whisper white piece. That's what we want. I'm just using my Memento Tuxedo Black. You know what? Let's do this. If we do this, then we know we're in the middle. Am I right? Do you not love the grid paper? Because you, you really want it in the middle because it's going to be covered up. Hi, everybody This jumped on. Thanks for spreading the moves. I truly appreciate it. All right, so let's set that aside. Now let's bring in our little kiddos. Now they're going to kind of over, they may go off just a little bit, but that's all right. That'd be all right. And you know what? I have not used this stamp before. So I'm going to stamp it a couple of times. It's kind of like seasoning it up. That's the way I like to think of it. That way I get a good even, even image. All right, that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. Thank you, guys. I'm thinking you might whip some of these out. Because it's super, super simple. Let me tell you that. All right, so let's line this up. And we're just going to go right here. Good impression. Hold it down for just a second. Too cute. Too cute. Too, too cute. All right. Now, I will tell you for... My beautiful lady, her hair is done in bronze, pool party for her dress, ivory for her arms, and then I use the petal pink for the flowers, and then that soft sea foam for the grass. So, but you know what, and I grabbed the soft sea foam, but I really think that's more sandy looking. So I think what I might do is go with light crumb cake. And if need be, I'll go to dark. But I'm going to start off with light. So, let's get going. And you know what? Let's see. 
Let's make one of our little girls a blonde, shall we? Just soft blonde. See? So pretty. So pretty. So this is light, so saffron. Let's see. Because remember, we're doing subtle colors. So I'm just going to do her hair. Doing her hair first. Using the wide tip. Oh, yeah. That'll work. I'm going to use the bronze for the other little girl's hair. And she's got it in a ponytail. Are you guys having beautiful weather? We had beautiful weather today. Be a beautiful. Okay, now I've got my smoky slate. And I'm going to do just a little bit of work on my pails. Because we're going to say that they're just silver pails. That's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to do the dark on the inside. And maybe just a little bit of shading down the side. Just like such. Adorable. So did anything speak to you guys specifically that came out in the third release today with the new celebration items? I'd love to hear. Just going to just blend that out a little bit. This is the light smoky slate. Just like that. Let's go ahead and... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab my petal pink. I don't want them wearing the same clothes. Well, they're sisters. They could be dressed the same. Yeah, they're going to be dressed the same. I'll do a little more shading on one than the other. Because they're going to be Twinkies. You guys remember that? You always wanted to look like your bestie. I know I did. I don't know that she loved it, but hey, maybe I was a little clingy. Who knows? No judging, people. No judging. So let's do that. That's the dark pool party. Here's the light. Oh, my goodness, nine inches of snow. Get out of here with that. So it was 70-something here today, but we were due. It has been raining and raining and raining. So I'm just doing a little bit of blending, nothing extravagant. And you guys have heard me say it before, if you're not getting the blend look that you like, you'd stop too soon. Just continue to go over it, let that alcohol absorb. Okay, that's pretty stinking cute. Let's do the other little girl. Nothing spoke to you. All right. I love the dyes that were that came out. I hope everybody grabbed the best dressed. Love that masculine set. Love it to pieces. And actually, one of the cards I did with that stamp set, which was picked as a favorite of the week on um, Split Coast Stampers. So, that's a pretty popular stamp set. Doing some more blending, just circles, little circles, little circles. Remember, you want to use that Thick Whisper White, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, too cute. Okay, now let's grab the ivory and do our skin tones. Thanks for spreading the moves. Oh, well, see, this is perfect timing for you, Marlene. Perfect timing. Oh. 
and the colors are going to lighten up just a little bit remember okay way cute Yeah, that best dress set. Mm. It was a squealer in my opinion. What do you think? All right, now we need our light crumb cake. We're going to do some sand because they're on the beach. So, oh yeah, that's what they needed. They needed some of that and I'm just going to take it all the way out to the edges and come back I'm just barely touching the paper the cardstock barely 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 but I want to bring it all the way down now can you tell I'm using the side so I'm covering more area at once And then just kind of going back and I like all those tones I like that. Very pretty. Very pretty. Alrighty. So we're done with that. Now why don't we go ahead. Let's let that alcohol dry for just a second. So now you're going to need two pieces of four by three designer series paper. All right. Four by three. All right. We're going to score along the four inch side, both of them at one inch. So I'm going to use my trimmer and I'm going to score each, both of them at one inch. So I'm going to score that one and then I'm going to score this one at one inch along the four inch. So you want the four inch the long ways. Okay. So actually the three inches across the top. Was that clear as mud? I want the three inch across the top so that my score is down the four inch side that sounds better because you guys are like what you knew what I meant but I wanted to get it right okay so here we go so now we've got our one inch score line going across the top so right off let's go ahead and burnish that down really well I love the blends so much, so, so much that, you know, I don't know if it's healthy. <laughs> oh, you guys know me. All right. Now, we've got that done because what's going to happen is this is going to go under here like such. But we've got to get our points. So how do we get our points? Oh, it's so easy. You're just going to bend it over like that. And just like such, fold this one in, make a match, just like such, burnish it down, hold it up there. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's secure that down. You can use your uh, multi liquid glue that would work just fine something that's going to hold well though that's the key I got a little aggressive look at that so don't get too aggressive don't be a Michelle and get too aggressive needed to simmer down on that burnishing a little bit so we're going to fold that over, come all the way into your score line is what you're doing, okay? And where I got aggressive is when I scored it here, okay? So it's designer series paper, not card stock, so learn from me. Do as I say, not as I do, you know how that goes. 
you're you've all been parents you know do as i say not as i do but we want to get those definitely burnish down really well oh thanks janelle you're a sweetie it's simple that's what i like about it i like a card that's easy but goes pop in your face all right so we've got that done now let's burnish those really well those points we want those good and creased all right you can do it carol you can make this now we're going to put this layer down actually what we need to do i almost made a uh oh moment there you can use fast fuse i mean you can use a combo if that makes you much more comfortable with this okay because what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to line it up see how i got that edge with that score line lined up do the same thing over here get it good and straight and you can put it down like this if that makes it easier because you got one chance you guys to get it on there and see I, mine's grabbing because i'm a yakking so let me do this let me do this gonna go here gonna go here that's where if you choose to use the uh tombow you got a little more room to to wiggle around all right a little more room let me show you i got some right here you know me i got some so then you're not stressing out because nobody needs to be stressing out we've got enough to stress out about not making cards all right so now just flip the card over upside down now don't try and do it the other way so now you can hold it push it down get it where you want it wiggle it push it over and then see much easier much easier with the tombow go with the tombow you guys it just takes it a second to dry that's all okay and look i'm off just a smidge right there can you see that just a tiny tiny smidge that makes me cranky that's the side i didn't use the tombow on so i'm going to take my shears and just give it a little tiny trim and no one will know because somebody is going to win this card friday i will draw the winner so let's go ahead and put this down easy and to the point you got that right now let's go ahead and center that up just like such we did good with our sentiment now we can put this which is our drawing our cute little girls on top of our pink layer just like such now we need some dimensionals oh i love the card oh i love hearing that you love the card so let's gonna let's start with one right here in the middle okay then we're going to do a couple above it coming out and then i'm going to do one at the top of this that way i'm guaranteed that i'm going to hit all the right places and i'm not going to have it where i don't want it so that's the best way to accomplish that because if i was trying to guess all of them on here chances are i'd go by where i needed to be here and nobody has time for that so now I hold it down, come here. I'm looking at the top and the bottom, and my left and my right. Oh my goodness. 
How stinking cute is it? All right. Butterfly duet punch. We're going to take and punch two of the small butterflies. Let me get them corralled. Oh, everyone's really getting into it. I love it. Man, that coloring is just not good, though, because that looks yellow, and it's really petal pink. That irritates me, you guys. I wish you knew how bad that irritates me. It's come down. It's come down with the color intensity, I guess. It's just not doing it justice. It isn't. All right. Now, here's what I did. I went ahead and folded one of them. One of my butterflies, and I am going to use some Tombow for this. And I put just a little bit of Tombow on one of my butterflies. And if it gets a little past the center, that's really okay because I really want that extra stability. Thank you, guys. And then you just kind of line them up like that. Pinch it for just a second. Let it appear. Just holding on to it for a second. And then I'm going to grab some mini glue dots. While it's doing that. And I'm going to put three mini glue dots. Because I want the bottom layer to actually... See, I'm going to separate this up just a little bit to give it a little like that, like it's flying. But I want that bottom layer really stuck on, to hold that layer down. So let's, we're going to do one here. We're going to do one in the middle. And because it's going to be open and closed, because you know people how they are. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. How does that work? So. And I made sure that my glue dots are down. So we're going to put that right. I don't want it touching the... We can't have that. I might roll it down just a little bit. I think I'm going to need to move it down just a little bit. There we go. Just like that. And then I can pull up my wings just a little bit. looking pretty good and then I want to take my rhinestone basic jewels and the more that this sits there the more and once it goes in the mail you know it'll lay flatter there we go my rhinestone basic Jewels, and I'm just going to do three of those. So I'm going to do one up here, one, I'm going to use three of them, okay? And one more final step. You notice I just push those. Oh, I'm seeing hearts. I love it. I just pushed those to the side and they just slid right off with my take your pick tool. So I'm going to grab my wing Costella. And I'm just going to add a little wing Costella to the wings to make that butterfly's wings sparkle. And there you go. How stinking cute. Is it? I think they are adorable. And we use the beautiful moments stamp set. Yes, we did. Let me. Back out just a little bit now. Beautiful moments with the gorgeous. Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series Paper.
I say that's a must have that designer series paper mm. so I've played with this one and this one now I've got to play with this one in the future I can't wait someone's gonna win the card like I said the links are up there in the top you guys so let's uh, brand this puppy shall we let's brand them both we need to brand these puppies five o'clock I'll announce the winner right here on Facebook and then I will uh, once you contact me with your information whoever that lucky winner is I will get it in the mail to you so let's do that and this Just tucks right under there. Oh, see, I didn't even get under the second wing. So you want to get under that second wing. Let me put this here for just a second so you can take a little gander at how pretty it is. All right, hang on to your drawers. I'm going to flip you up and around. There we go. We are all set. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves tonight. I enjoyed playing with you. Thanks for joining me while we were crafting till the cows come home. If you need anything, I'm a phone call away. If you need any help, if you would like to join the herd, come be a heifer and hang out with us. We'd love to have you. It's a screaming great deal. $210 worth of products for $99 shipped free. You can't beat that. I guess that's all I've got for you tonight. Don't miss out on anything. Remember, they're available while supplies last for celebrations. So, Savannah has come home. I'm sending you hugs and kisses from the Scott Farm. I hope you have a wonderful evening. See you next Tuesday night, guys.